apply the superposition principle to find VO in the circuit of figure. We have to find this VO in this circuit using superposition principle. As we can see that there are 1, 2 and 3 independent sources. So, solution. First of all, we will redraw the circuit. Now let's say VO is equal to VO is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 where V1 comma V2 and V3 are the voltages due to 20 volt voltage source, 2 ampere current source and 1 ampere current source respectively. So to find V1, to find V1 we will consider 20 volt, consider 20 volt and turn off all other sources. Now when we turn off, we are considering this 20 volt and we will turn off other sources. So as we can see that this is a current source so this will be open circuited. Also this is a current source so this will be open circuited. Now we have to find this. Also this will be V1 not VO this will be V1 because this is the voltage due to this 20 volt voltage source. So this will be 4 plus 2 this will be 6 This will be 6 ohm. Now this 6 ohm parallel with 6 ohm. So this will be 6 ohm parallel with 6 ohm. That will be half. So that is 3 ohm. Now here we can apply apply voltage division rule. Voltage division rule or voltage divider rule. So V1 is equal to this voltage which is 20 volt into this resistance which is 3 ohm divided by total 3 plus 3. This 3 plus this 3. So this will be 20 into 3 by 3 plus 3. So it is 10 volt. So therefore V1 is equal to 10 volt. Next we have to find V2. So to find V2, to find V2, we will consider this 2 ampere. Consider 2 ampere current source and turn off all other sources, all other sources. Now this is a current source. So this will be turn off and open circuited and this is a voltage source. So this will be turn off and short circuited. Now we have to find also this will be V2 not VO this will be V2 so now similarly this is 4 plus 2 this will be 6 ohm 6 ohm parallel with 6 ohm so this will be 3 ohm
this 6 ohm parallel with 6 ohm so this will be Three ohm. Now we have to find current through this. Let's say this is current I two. So apply current division rule. Current division rule or current divider rule to find I two. So if we found I two, then from that we can get the value of V two. So I two is equal to this current which is 2 ampere so it is in opposite direction so this will be minus minus 2 then into opposite branch resistance which is 3 ohm so 3 ohm divided by total resistance which is 3 plus 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 so this will be minus 2 into 3 upon 3 plus 3 so this is minus 1 minus 1 ampere is the value of I2 from this we have to find V2 so V2 is equal to this current I2 into 3 ohm so this will be I2 is minus 1 minus 1 into 3 this will be minus 3 volt therefore V2 is equal to minus 3 volt next we have to find V3 so to find V3 to find V3 we will consider We will consider this one ampere current source and turn off all other sources. Consider one ampere and turn off all other sources. So this will be turn off and open circuited because this is a current source. And this is turn off and short circuited because this is a voltage source. Now we have to find this V. Also this will be V3 not VO. Because this is the voltage due to this 1 ampere current source. Here this 4 ohm is in parallel with this 1 ampere. So we will use source transformation here. We will convert this current source into its equivalent voltage source. So, this will be this current source will be converted into its equivalent voltage source. I will redraw this 4 ohm resistance. So this is 4 ohm, 4 ohm and here it's equivalent voltage source. This will be positive, this will be negative. So this will be voltage source is equal to V is equal to I into R. I is 1 ampere. So V is equal to I into R. So V is I is 1 ampere into resistance is 4 ohm. So this will be 4 volt. This volt voltage source is of 4 volt. Now we will erase this current source. Now as we can see that this 6 ohm is in parallel with this 3 ohm. So 6 ohm parallel with 3 ohm this will be 6 into 3 by 6 plus 3. 6 into 3 by 6 plus 3. This is 2 ohm. 
two ohm. So this will be this will be two ohm voltage across both the resistances will be same. This will be two ohm. Now here we can apply KVL or voltage divider rule. So apply voltage division rule to find V3. So V3 is equal to this voltage which is 4 volt into this resistance which is 2 ohm divided by total resistance 2 plus 2 plus 4. 2 plus 2 plus 4. So this will be 4 into 2 by 2 plus 2 plus 4. So this is 1 volt. V3 is equal to V3 is equal to 1 volt. Now what we have to find? We have to find this VO which is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. VO is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So V1 is V1 is 10 volt. 10 volt plus V2 is V2 is minus 3 volt. Minus 3 volt plus V3 is 1 volt. So this will be 10 minus 3. 10 minus 3 plus 1. So this is 8 volt. Therefore, VO is equal to 8 volt. What we have to find? We have to find VO using superposition principle. So this is the value of VO using superposition principle or superposition theorem. For electrical and electronics engineering related questions and answers, visit the link in the description below.